And then from the sala, we can move directly out into the veranda, where, you know, it's instant access to the outdoors. This is where we have our bug hostel, which is so named because one of our children said it couldn't be a hotel because bugs don't have any money. It's also where our shelter is, which um, is heated so that we can dry out wellies and waterproof so that there's a kind of in-between space between the outdoors and indoors just to facilitate that being outside all the time. So there's no kind of, you know, hindrances to, to children being able to access the outdoors. We have a little area here for growing and planting and just for messy play, kind of mud kitchen type play. And this is where we hang our washing because being an eco school, we don't have a tumble dryer. So we kind of rely on <laughs> the not so reliable Scottish weather to get our stuff dried. And then our children can just go down uh, into the garden, which is just a veritable oasis. You know, we're right in the middle of the old town. And when you're in this space, you can be forgiven for thinking that you're, you know, in the middle of the country. So that very much a, a space of peace, of tranquility, but also a space that our children can freely move about. It has very different topographies with the hill and the sand and the bark and the stones. So our children get to experience lots of different surfaces, opportunity for climbing and sliding. And again, lots of little spaces where our children can be away from this you know, the, the constant observation of adults. And for children to be risk aware, which is what we would like them to be, they need an environment that encourages exploration, that encourages risk. And that's not to advocate dangerous play, that's just to advocate risky play. You know, that our children need, the Icelandics call it this feeling of ice in the belly. You know, our children need opportunities to to discover exactly how far and how able they are. And they can't do that if they don't have things that they can jump off or things that they can climb on or things that they can swing on. You know, they want to experience all that, that vestibular motion that's hugely important. A child to discover, to transport, you know. I mean, it's not by any means a pristine environment. Our children do transport sand and stones and sticks all over the place. The bark and the sand get mixed. You know, but how else do you create dirty drinks and perfume if you're not mixing things together? And these are all kind of fundamentals. When you ask most people about their memories of their childhood, it will involve the outdoors, usually to a greater degree.